fish and chips, freshly cooked, piping hot, smothered in salt and vinegar, and traditionally wrapped in paper. But you know, when we say chips, we don't actually mean chips. We mean French fries, but fat ones. So let me show you how to make this British classic. First of all, you need to cut your potatoes into sticks, but remember they're thicker, up to three quarters of an inch thick. And then the secret of our chips is that we fry them twice because they're thicker. So heat the oil to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and cook them until they're nearly done. And then take them out and turn up the heat to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and put them back in and cook them for a few minutes until they're crisp and golden on the outside. Fluffy and delicious in the middle. For the fish, you need to cut your fish into nice large pieces. And we use a white fish, something like cod or haddock or whiting traditionally. First of all, dip the fish into some flour to make sure the batter sticks. And then the batter, well, it's really easy. But we use ale, traditional British ale in ours, to give it a really lovely, crisp flavour. So mix together one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of eggs, and half a cup each of milk and traditional ale. Whisk them together and then dip the fish into the batter and straight into the hot oil at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Cook it for about five to seven minutes until it's nice and crispy and serve it 